everyone and welcome to my channel. I decided to do a shipped vlog of one of my shipped orders so it was a little tricky filming it and also doing the shop and I'm not gonna lie I got a little bit shy about having my camera on at the store. Um, so I hope that this actually turned out to be super useful to all of you who are nervous about getting started or have the jitters about actually doing the first order. I promise you, once you have that first order knocked out, the rest of them are going to get easier and easier. All right, so let's get started. I did this order at the beginning of February, so it's been a couple of, oh my gosh, weeks. And this order was super easy. Luckily, everything was in stock and it's one of my regulars. So she's a super nice lady who is very generous in tipping. So the first thing you'll notice when an order comes up is it's gonna be in like a order card and it's going to have all of the information that you need. As you can see, this one is for Target. The delivery time is 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. There's seven total items. It gives you an estimated time of how long it's going to take you and that also includes the delivery time. Gives you the zone, so I'm in Albuquerque. Gives you the Target store in that zone, the order number, and it gives you the name of the person. So when you accept the order, and I should mention there has been an update, at least in my zone, where Shipt is now giving you a better estimated payout. So before it used to say like, for example, it would say estimated payout for this order would be like $8 to $12. Now it kind of meets you in the middle and it takes into account the number of items, how difficult they measure it to be, the delivery time, so the distance, and how they determine that there might be substitutions or stuff like that. So I don't know yet if it's a better payout model. I have noticed that in some of the orders that I did, it did pay a little bit more, and then in some of them, it paid a little bit less. So I don't know. It could be the same thing. So for this one, Rebecca, um, I hid the information, but she has a weird phone number, um, and as you know, she uses a masking system so it'll give you fake numbers for you to communicate with customers and for them to communicate with you um, and they just recycle them but for Rebecca she for some reason doesn't have like a cell phone or a landline or I don't know what happened so she always puts on there if you need to contact me use this number which is her actual number and I've been delivering for her for so long that uh, we have a rapport so I don't care if she knows what my number Number is. But that's, you know, not the case for everybody. Definitely, if you don't feel safe for whatever reason, then you should contact Shipt and let them know. As well, it might say under the show more, it might have other instructions. Sometimes they put like a code for a gate or where to put the items or to contact them. It's just an area to put other notes. Moving down on the details, she prefers a do not sub preference. So meaning that if you come across an item on her list that's out of stock, you don't have to ask her for approval of alternatives. You can just say do not sub and additionally the shipped app is really good about reminding you and it'll just have it on there and then it's easy for you to just click do not sub. But she also has item preferences which is really helpful because sometimes you might be shopping for an item and they say do not sub and then you find an item that is like almost identical and it would be really sad for them to not have it and it's a really like gray zone of should I contact them and tell them or not. This way, when they have their preferences, they already can determine that and it, it helps so much. So anyways, so when you press on the shopping list, it'll give you a list of all of the items. And then you can already kind of make a mental map for yourself. So Target is awesome about organizing the items by their aisles. And this is really helpful because then you can just go to the dry, then go to the produce or meats and then, you know, end on frozen if that was the case. And you have a really good idea of how to plan your shop. 
Going back to the details above the show more info, it will give you the estimated time. And so you can click on that and it'll give you a suggestion of shop start. So that'll be at 2.39 p.m. shopping time, 25 minutes, and then delivery time of 10 minutes. I suggest with every single order, start an hour before the delivery window. So for this one, the delivery window is 3 to 4 p.m. I already have experience with Target and experience with uh, Rebecca, so I'm pretty quick. But with new people just starting out, I would suggest always arriving like an hour, 45 minutes before. So that way, if you run into any trouble, you have plenty of time and then you're always delivering within the first like 10 to 15 minutes of the delivery window. So for this, you would deliver at like 3.15 p.m. And then you can also click on above her name. So Target, Albuquerque, and E. You click on that and it it gives you an option to navigate to the store, navigate to the delivery address, or text the member. And it's super helpful because if you're like in a rush, you can just press on that and it'll auto-generate the maps or whatever for either the store or the delivery. I don't really use text member. I just actually click on, if it's not Rebecca, a someone else's auto-masked number, then I'll click on it and it'll just auto-populate. Okay, so I'm going to text her letting her know that I have arrived at Target, that I'm about to get started shopping. And I always ask if they need anything else. And then I press on start shop. And now we're in business. It snowed here in Albuquerque that weekend. So I had my knockoff ankle high waterproof booties that I got off of Amazon and they're super comfortable. And she texted back. And it looks like she actually does need two different items. Campbell's chicken noodle soup and Progresso chicken noodle soup. Four of each. And then I just acknowledge, will do. So I'm going to open the list again and go off of what is closest. So the makeup is on aisle A1. Both of them are. And then I just open it up just to make sure that I know what number it is because it's very important, especially for makeup. You don't want to get it wrong. Got my cart. And right away I pull into a one. Found it. Just got to make sure. Double, triple check. Open my shopper app. Click on found it'll automatically have like the scanner pop up. So I will show the barcode on the back. Sometimes products have them all over the place. Sometimes they have more than one and you just have to find the right one. And it'll scan it, it's very fast. And for some reason, pretty satisfying when it's the correct one. And then again, I go to the next one because it was just right next to it. Make sure that I have the correct number. Click on found, do the same thing on the back, scan the barcode. And now I only have a couple of items left. So the next one on the list is going to be this Conair brush that's on aisle A25. Super close to that one. It's only one. Here I go. Honestly, makeup can be the hardest, one of the hardest things to shop for. Mostly because they have so many different brands and products and sometimes they just don't do a good job of organizing the aisles and... (laughs) 
I think the hardest hardest part is that uh, the Target employees don't really care enough to help you and you can never find one. All right, so I found the brush. I just wanna double check. I'm gonna pull up the app, scan the barcode and there it goes. On to the liquid clog remover and there's three of them that she needs on aisle A58. Oh my gosh, and look at that. There are exactly three of them left. Sometimes what happens is that customers will want more than, for example, three of an item. Um, but in this case, it looks like they only had three in stock. And so shipped will let them know that they can't order more than like, for example, three. Sometimes they're wrong. Target is, I mean. Open up my app, found, scan, and right here I'm going to put one, two, three. We're almost done. The last item is the Quaker Oats, but remember that she requested Campbell's and Progresso. So I am not sure off the top of my head uh, what aisle that's at. I mean, it's super easy to, you know find it. But what I'm gonna do is just open up a browser on my phone, go to target.com, type in Campbell's chicken noodle soup, see what pops up, and then also make sure that I am at the right target location. So for this one, it's for sale. And it says that they're out of stock at this particular target, but we'll see. Next one is going to be Progresso. And it says that they do have some on aisle G19. Yep, like I said, it's always good to just double check because a lot of times, for whatever reason, you never know, they just haven't updated it or they had more than they thought. Like, you just never know. And then on the same aisle, found Progresso. And I always make sure that, you know, there's no dents or anything like that. four of those and what I'm gonna do is take a picture and it's easier to just take a picture of both of them side by side because I always make sure to ask the customer if this is what they're looking for even if they said hey you know whatever brand or whatever I just I I want their confirmation and I want it written down too so I'll just shoot them a quick text I'm super nice. Send him a picture. And while I'm waiting for their response, sometimes it takes them a while. That's another story. Sometimes they respond right away, which is awesome. So while I'm waiting for that response, I'm going to go ahead and head to aisle G26 because it's just around the corner and it's the last item. Oh, and I got a text back. Perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. And again, I always let them know step by step what I'm doing. So back in the shopper app, I'm gonna add both of the soups using the plus icon. And this is the icon that you use to add anything. So you'll see it in the shopping list next to the cart. You'll press on it and I will use the little scan icon to scan the barcode of the first item. 
which is the Campbell's, nine out of 10 times it will auto populate like it did here and give me the correct barcode and item. So I will click on that. It'll ask me for the quantity to add. I'm gonna add four because that's what she wanted. And then add to shopping list. It'll ask you again, are you sure? Yes. Again, it'll pop up quantity found four. I'll do the same thing for the Progresso. Click on it, add four, confirm, yes. Add four again, cause it's just confirming, add to cart. All right, so now we can go get the Quaker Oats. Oops, oh, sorry, she almost hit me. There they are. Click found, scan the barcode, and it'll automatically take you to a page that says prepaid checkout because that's what she wanted to do. She's already prepaid for it. And it'll give you instructions of on what to do with a prepaid order. So you're gonna head to self checkout or head to an area where somebody has a device to do a shipped audit. You can skip the payment and then get the confirmation and that's it, they're very easy. So I'm gonna click go to cart because I always want to double check my list. And then I'm going to text her uh, that I've completed her list with everything in stock. And then I'm heading to checkout now. I always do this too because sometimes somebody will ask for something last minute. They're like, oh, I forgot this or whatever. So that way I know and I haven't clicked on process order because once you click on process order, you can't undo it and you can't add or remove anything after that. So she was very quick. She said, perfect. Thank you again. You're welcome, Rebecca. And then I'm going to go back to the prepaid checkout list, go to cart. Go over the list, everything's there. Click on checkout, here's that process order. Process order, pray that it goes through. Just kidding, most of the time, almost all, all the time, it will. And it'll bring up the code that you have to present to an attendant and also the information. And you can see when I scroll down, all the stuff that's on there. And that is what they need to scan so that they can count the items that are in your cart and you can confirm the receipt after they do. Here we go. Confirm the receipt. And now I bag. I'm really OCD and picky, so I will separate the items based on what type it is. So for the non-food items, I will put together and then the rest of it, I'm just gonna separate based on like the weight and what these little flimsy bags can hold. We're all done and I'm off. I forgot to mention, but I, I always try to park right next to a return shopping cart area. It's just easier. Loaded the bags in my car and now I am sending a on my way text to Rebecca. And she had a drop-off preference I forgot to mention and what that means. And you can always just click on there um, on the shopper app and it'll explain. But a drop-off is you just place the items right next to their doorway. Don't block it, but like you'll be able to tell. Take a picture of it and then text the customer that their items are ready and outside. And then also include the picture.
I place her items right next to her door, take a picture, and text her something along the lines of all set. Have a wonderful day. With the picture. The last step is going back into the app and then swiping to mark as delivered. And that's it. She texted back and she said thank you again. And now I'm going to go back and show you how much I made for just that one order that was really easy and small. So I made $9.95. And then like five minutes later, I got a notification that she tipped. So I'll go back into the app under the payment information. And I saw that she tipped eleven twenty one, making the total pay twenty one sixteen for just that little order that took less than an hour. Thanks, Rebecca. She's the best. And there you have it. That's it. I don't know if um, anyone finds these videos helpful, but if you do, let me know. I may do some other ones or just do other videos depending on what type of information you would like me to talk about. So that's it. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope you have a very lucrative, successful, awesome ship chopper week.